Hi Pisces, my name is Griselle with Psychic MD and I'm here to do your timeless reading for the next 30 days. So you can obviously click on this message whenever you feel led to. If you're drawn, there might be a message here for you. For you repeat offenders, I wanna thank you so much for showing up to find out what my shenanigans is this month or at this point in time. And for your newbies who are just curious or just kind of bored, welcome, welcome. Without further ado, Pisces, this is your reading. The anchor to our message today is cleaning house. Okay, nobody wants to hear this, but here we are. So cleaning house, <clears throat> excuse me. If you look at the numbers, of course, they add up to a ton and you see this little person kind of like holding herself away I think she is super cute but there's a lot going on and so her legs she needs to get her legs up and do a little bit of house cleaning I can relate to that so this could be within your 3d life basically cleaning your room your house kitchen whatever the case may be your office anything like that your car or perhaps it is a reference to your spiritual well-being. You need to clean your aura, your auric field, um, place some protection in as well. Or it can be just some mental clutter, mental emotional clutter. So we'll find out where this goes. But I want to point out, like the three stands for cooperation, festivities, um, integration, creativity, all things like that. And for me, the seven is like super spiritual. So of course I have the reference to the little cat right here. I've got some birds in the trees and it looks like that window is like super high. She really can't see through the window unless she like steps on something. And uh, even the window looks to me foggy. So you could be having some issues with feeling kind of like Feeling locked down, feeling enclosed, feeling like trapped, like you can't do anything kind of a thing. That you can't even see outside. So perhaps you're not even bothering to look out the window because you're so busy with whatever it is that you're busy with. Um, cleaning up your surroundings, again, is going to be like the most obvious answer and the most helpful for you during this time to get that energy moving. You want clean energy and that's the easiest way to allow and welcome in new energy. So we'll see where this goes, Pisces. Pisces, for the next 30 days, please. Why is Cleaning House here? Show me now. Coming apart, okay. This was in my Virgo reading, so you might have some Virgo placements, or I don't know, being influenced by Virgo. You might wanna check that read out as well. Pisces for the next 30 days, please. Show me now. Okay. Spirit of place and commitment. So, <clears throat> let's see if you guys can see this on camera. Might be able to move this a little bit and hopefully not burn the house down, y'all. All right. So this has everything to do with commitment, with reaching that star, that desire that you want. And the thing is that what you want wants you as well. And the cool part about this is this is almost like a creation wand. And if you look, there is a keyhole within this star. So we're gonna get to this in a moment. But I'm just gonna propose to you that things are actually kind of coming apart, being unraveled for you and not, hmm, you know, Things are happening for you, not to you. <laughs> and that's an awkward laugh because gosh, that's a really hard concept to like really accept, especially <clears throat> when things are so tough. But I'm gonna say here that maybe a lot of masks are falling away. It could be you and your partner, or you are just, perhaps maybe you've always been the easygoing one. Perhaps you've always been the one to people please to go with the flow. You're a Pisces, right? Um, and things like that. And so perhaps it is a time for you to really invoke the God or goddess within and be the fullest that you can be and not just give it to other people um, 
and their desires simply because that's what they want, but really having an input and going with your most authentic self, okay? So they could be many different masks that we all wear. And uh, so that's why this would be here. Now, I really want to examine the spirit of place. <clears throat> I actually have never gotten this card before. So we're going to go ahead and read Dear Pisces from the good book. Spirit of place, authenticity. Get out of here. I just said that. Authenticity is the essence of power. Upright. Our ans ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme about circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than looking for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlines your question, then name it. You'll discover the answers you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your authenticity. Pisces, how powerful of reinforcement is that? I could not have like asked for a better read for you. So that's going to be the key to achieving your dreams to getting exactly what you want. Now, also, I want <sighs> squirrel. Sorry, guys. Um, I want you to notice there's so much in this card. Now, of course, we have the forest. I mean, this is where things grow and thrive. I love the butterfly wings by her eyes. And it just seems like maybe you're transforming how you see things, how you view things, um, even how you view the past. The, even how you view how things have been breaking up around you and you're noticing that perhaps things were not like copacetic or they just weren't really authentically you and uh, this could be a real I equate to this is like the tower card for me and so you could have been feeling totally discombobulated and you know in shambles I'm feeling that um, but I'm going to say that there is a lot of growth and with this growth, with you seeing things differently about your past, about your current situation, about the different masks that you've been wearing, about how to be your most authentic self as well. And what exactly is that? Perhaps you've never like delved into, well, what does that mean? Like I just live my life, right? Um, yeah. But what about that thing, that inner calling, that inner core that is you that really doesn't care about cars and shoes and bags and makeup and I mean, what is it that is your higher calling? So even if it's a creative endeavor, it's something that your soul is really drawn to. And I feel like maybe this has really sparked a debate and you're feeling a little bit kind of brain foggy or cluttered about it. And I want to say that there's like the leaves right here, fall, fall could be of a significance or there could have been a fall with taking off these masks that affected your security because I have here number four, all about your balance, your security as well. And I'm just going to say that your ancestors are really standing tall with you. They are helping you to be able to grow and evolve, even your mind, okay, is um, allowing things to let go. I feel like this fall in her hair the leaves in her hair tells me that it's fall it's time to let go of things time to let go of the mass of things that just really no longer serve you in order to achieve exactly what it is that you are wanting that commitment it could be a commitment to a person place or thing right um but whatever it is your desire that you haven't really talked about that maybe you just discovered or you haven't fine-tuned anything like that it's like you have this wish and it feels so so far away and it feels like unattainable but i'm here to tell you that your ancestor spirit god and whomever the ethers you could say definitely have this in mind for you as well so what you want wants you as well and i look at the colors here i have a lot of reference to like the sacral chakra which talks about your sensuality with taking pleasure the ability to take pleasure in life like this is not a relaxing place at all this isn't a place where you could be like oh it's so pleasurable just to relax here and throw my feet up or whatever the case may be um so i feel like you have not been into this space but the more that you allow and embody this space and also the more that you claim your solar plexus energy and this is having that innate knowledge of what it is that you want um 
you know, and the details of it. You can outline even like the feelings or what you're thinking or what you're good at. I did a lot of journaling before um, I decided it came simply to what I wanted to do when I grew up was to heal hearts. <laughs> I know it sounds so silly, but um, that was my superpower dream. And in a lot of ways, I feel like this is how we heal hearts. So of course it's easier one-on-one -on -one than in a group setting like this, but hopefully some of you guys get some healing as well. Moving on. So I feel like what it is that you want is going to be given to you, but look at here, like you have your hand extended to receive, but it's more like this. It's almost like still pointing, almost as if the star is far away from you when it's within your reach. So I suggest like letting go of some things. This is like a theme of yours, letting go of some things for the next 30 days in order to open up your hand and fully be receptive, having that res receptivity. Use your words, Griselle. Yes, and so it's gonna be really important for you to be able to receive when people say, hey, Pisces, I would love to help you with blah, 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 then say, yeah, I'd love some help. Um, and I really struggle in this area because I'm super independent. And uh, I don't like to ask for help, but I feel like anything that can help you get in the mode of receiving, just know that also the same way that you, um, I feel like once upon a time, got your pleasure, got your identity, got your satisfaction from maybe perhaps um, giving to others now is a time for you to learn the opposite side of it that because we're all dualistic the opposite polar opposite receiving learn how to receive learn how to say yes more learn how to um, open up to energies that want to be helpful and giving to you because in that you allow other people to experience that joy and that pleasure of giving to you as well okay I'm just gonna say it here because you know, if you've been with me at all for any amount of time, that my brain is pretty bent. But this could have all sorts of sexual connotations. I'm not trying to do this like 18 plus read right now, okay? So, with that, we are moving on. So, I'd like to get a little bit more information about why the coming apart card is here. I see, why is this here? Why is the coming apart card for Pisces present? Show me now. The hangman. So things have unraveled, have come apart. It could be, you know, global issues that are going on currently right now um, that you're just kind of hanging around waiting to see what is going on. These people are obviously kind of like confined to the building. You've got all the zombies are really really hungry and just dying to eat them and then you have this guy who is a little bit of like a vigilante but he's also it feels to me like a tower card even though this is a hangman vibration 12 okay it is like a master number you could be seen 12 12 12 um or even threes in order to achieve like the next level the next step cooperation and creativity but even his legs to me look like a number four i don't know if you can kind of see that but uh, that stands for stability and i feel like your stability your home life and also number four is a nod to the emperor in my book anyways that's how i read um so i'm gonna say that this does have a lot to do with like current world events and how you are seeing things and you're seeing how people perhaps are just to, out to attack you or get you, you might be feeling that way, or how people kind of like, every time you turn around, they want your money or something to that effect, like rocking your stability. It's all reference to the root chakra. And it's finally time to take off your mask and say, no, I don't agree. I don't agree with what you're thinking with your agenda. I don't agree with um, what you, I don't know what you've done, whatever, whatever the case may be. I'm not trying to get political because, you know, I have a mouth. I'm going to put that here and replace this with that card. So, Spirit of Place. Why is Spirit of Place here for my Pisces fans, please? Show me now. If you like this style of reading, please do consider giving me a like, share, comment, subscribe. That is the easiest way to give back to me and help my channel grow. Okay, thank you. Pisces, for the next 30 days, show me now. What? 
the Queen of Wands. I feel like you carry a mighty stick and will be in the future. I think that this whole revelation, this battle, this needing some healing, seeking a spiritual connection. Again, the number seven in the hangman. Um, the seven here and the hangman here just remind me of trying to gain a spiritual perspective and look at things completely different i think that that's going to really empower you she has a really big stick a wand whatever you want to call it and if you look the curtains are green i feel like this is going to really help activate your heart chakra here is some heart chakra energy as well meaning that you're going to be open to receive love as well as to give it i feel like you've had a hard time receiving um love I think that perhaps that was part of the problem that you people pleased or went along with narratives or had some kind of a mask going on here and that that just totally came apart and you've had to really explore who and what you are, what you stand for. But in doing that, she is actually cloaked with the root chakra. She's more grounded, more stable, more focused. It could be she, he, I don't care. We read pure energy anyways. The queen of wands is somebody who's a mover, a shaker, a candlestick maker, a taker of names. She don't care. She's going to be a trailblazer, okay? I love that ref reference. <laughs> I love I make up my own words. I love the reference to this um, sun right here. So it could be somebody who is of important to you, like a Leo. But this is completely like the sun is shining on your heart chakra. Your solar plexus and your heart chakra are connected, obviously. Um, they are like one step away from each other. So we're right next to each other. So I'm going to say that whatever it is that you love to do, whatever it is that makes you rise and shine with enthusiasm and feeling your own vibes and the great you know i am i'm gonna do this and this is what i want in life and this is who i am this is what i stand for the more you embody those characteristics those traits and those ideas for yourself the more confident the more i heard self-regulating okay self-regulating you become so i hope that that is making sense all right pisces what else do we have Show me what I need to see. I just looked at my camera. It says 1717. Those numbers could really be something that's of importance to you. And again, mentioning the number seven, spirituality. All right. So you have the five of swords. This could be with some sort of deceit. Some people, perhaps a theft. Not being honest. Okay wanting to win no matter what no matter what the agenda it's a, some really deep shady crap and i feel like you've seen through it you've discovered it and you're in the process of looking at the world differently perhaps you're looking at okay i'm just gonna go there pisces because that's what i'm seeing okay perhaps you're looking at current events and you're thinking um you know new world order and who is in power and what is the cdc and all of those um, things that they embody. Who is it that's really running things? And you see a lot of like smoke and debris. This could be about thinking about reasons for war. And this is, you know, silence your mouth. Or I'll take away your security. So it's um, no secret that all the social media platforms are banning anyone who speaks their mind or speaks out against any narrative other than the propaganda that we see on TV because um, that's quickly shut down. So much for freedom, right? No freedom of speech there. Anyways, moving on. Wheel of Fortune here. So this means to me that things are going to be taking a turn for the better. Again, a reference to number 10 and 10 right here to finish that thought. But I'm feeling like you're going to, 10 reduces to 1. So you're at that point where, okay, we're, we're facing some endings here. Maybe you've already, most of you already faced an ending, a big one. And it could be like your mask to the world or how you see the world, how the world has been masking. 
um, underlying issues and motivations or, or agendas, whatever. And I feel like you're going to go back to a one. This is new beginnings, but with a very beautiful outlook, like a little bit of a playful vibe, understanding that sometimes the world around you can feel like a circus, even look at the carousel going round and round. But you even have this like wheel of fortune saying that, you know what, what comes up must go down and things and fortune is smiling upon you and rising in a good way. So I think that you're coming out of this energy. Also, I want to point out you got the sun and the moon here. So I feel like you're going to be in your feels a little bit. Also, maybe looking, well, you're on this channel like this minute, all three of you. So um, you could be a little bit looking, you know, for answers at the sun and the moon. And, and what I mean by that is like sun gazing, star gazing, or getting downloads, intuitive downloads from, um, you know, the moon or you know, connecting and communing with Mother Earth herself. And so all of these things can have some merit in your out view, your outlook is really radically changing. Then I have the strength card you have and will be mastering everything. So your inner beings, your inner lion, that reactive part of us that wants to kind of lash out and kind of like eat somebody alive, <laughs> depending on like what's going on or how you're feeling, you can master that and you have everything it takes. This is also my lust card, uh, but also super strong. So you don't know what you're made out of, but I feel like you're starting to find out. Um, and yeah, so finish my thought. This could be a lust card. So you, this, some of this could, because I'm getting some strong, you know, dual meanings and this could be an 18 and plus but i just didn't do it um anyways you yourself can look at those messages and really consider how that applies to sex and your love life or whatever but that is definitely my lust card and things could be on the ups one but you want a commitment and with that dear pisces i will let you go thank you so much and namaste